In the previous lecture, we discussed RC circuits. Now, let's actually look at an example that deals with an RC circuit. So let's suppose we have a capacitor with a capacitance of 30 microfarads and a resistor with a resistance of 300 ohms. Now if the electromotive force, if the voltage difference on the battery is 12 volts, in part A we want to calculate what the time constant is which is given by tau. Now tau is equal to the product of the resistance and the capacitance and tau, the time constant, tells us the time it requires for our capacitor to acquire 63% of the total charge of the maximum quantity of charge that can be acquired by our capacitor. So tau is equal to the product of R and C where R is 300 ohms and C is 30 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 farads. So we multiply these two values out and we get 0 0.009 seconds is the amount of time it takes our capacitor to obtain 63% of the maximum quantity of charge. So let's move on to part B. In part B we want to calculate what the maximum quantity of charge is that our capacitor can acquire. So we essentially want to use this equation which we were able to derive in the previous lecture. So recall that the maximum quantity of charge is acquired by the capacitor when the time value approaches infinity, when the time becomes very large. Now if we look at the following equation and specifically if we look at this term which contains the time value, as our time approaches infinity, this t becomes very large and this quantity becomes very small. In fact, it approaches zero. So that implies that the maximum quantity of charge acquired by the capacitor is equal to the product of our voltage and the capacitance and one minus a value of zero. So this is equal to our voltage of the battery multiplied by the capacitance C. So to find the maximum quantity of charge, we simply multiply the voltage of 12 volts and our capacitance of 30 microfarads and we get a value of 3.6 times 10 to the negative 4 coulombs. So the maximum quantity of charge that can be acquired by our capacitor within the following RC circuit is given by this quantity. Now, let's move on to part C. Calculate the time in seconds it takes the capacitor to accumulate 50% of the maximum charge. So 50% of the maximum charge is simply 0.5 multiplied by this and that gives us 1.8 times 10 to negative 4 coulombs. So once again we want to apply the following equation. We want to take this equation, rearrange it and solve for the time. So eventually when we rearrange it we see that the time is equal to negative of the natural log of 1 minus q divided by the voltage multiplied by the capacitance multiplied by RC where RC is our time constant given by tau which was calculated in part A. So we essentially multiply negative natural log of the inside which is 0.693 where our electromotive force is 12 volts, our C is the capacitance and our Q is half of this value. So we find a natural log and we see we have negative multiplied by negative 0.693 multiplied by tau which is 0.009 seconds and that gives us about 0.006 seconds. So it takes us about 0.006 seconds for our capacitor to accumulate 50% of this maximum quantity of electric charge. Now let's move on to part D. In part D we want to calculate the electric current when the capacitor is halfway charged. In other words, when the capacitor contains half of this quantity of maximum charge, 
what will be the electric current within our circuit. So we essentially want to use this equation which we were able to derive in the previous lecture. So our electric current at any given moment of time is equal to the following equation. So we essentially want to use the result we obtained in part C. So from part C we know that it takes our capacitor 0.006 seconds to accumulate half of the maximum quantity of charge. So we see I is equal to 12 volts divided by 300 ohms multiplied by E raised to the power of negative 0.006 seconds divided by our time constant of 0.009 seconds and that gives us about 0.021 amps. So this is the quantity of electric current that flows through our RC circuit when the capacitor accumulated 50% of the maximum quantity of electric charge.